Hello there, my name is Pao Diaz. I am a figure skating enthusiast. I am an adult figure skater and I've been a skating instructor for several years and I've taught a lot of people from three years old through 35 years old how to start skating and how to glide with confidence on the ice. What I've noticed through these experiences is that although people often learn how to skate through instructors or through YouTube videos like this one, sometimes they don't have enough confidence to move across the ice freely and without a worry in the world. So I've decided to make this video for people who struggle a little bit with having confidence on the ice and moving just freely and carelessly. So right here I'm going to teach you how to skate. If you already know how to move across the ice, even though you're not that confident, you can skip it. And in the end I'm going to teach you a couple of exercises that I've noticed through my students uh, give them a lot of confidence and make their, their movements a lot more free and careless across the ice. So I think that this, um, these exercises are really important and are going to help you a lot. So let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so there are a couple of exercises that I would like you to do at home so that you can understand the movement we do at skating a lot better. First, we're going to do a simple bulk change from one foot to another. And we're going to make sure that we're not just standing on both feet and then changing feet. We need to do it from one to the other as fast and efficiently as possible. Now, once we got that from one foot to the other, like a little penguin, we're going to do this kind of stride. Uh, if the surface is a little bit slippery, that would be better. So we can understand the movement a little bit better. This would make us glide on the ice. And also we do this movement like side to side, not entirely front like we would do when we walk. So next I would like you to relax. I am relaxing my knees, making sure that all of my body is relaxed. So I'm kind of just moving it around and making sure my limbs are kind of relaxed. First, I'm going to do this with my back, just letting go of my back and my arms. And then I'm just going to loosen up all up so I can go skating without feeling so nervous. Next, I'm going to warm up my knees, my hips and my back to be ready to start skating. At the rink, we're going to try these exercises we did at home. First, we're going to do a little bowl change from side to side. If we feel like we're going to fall, you're going to bend your knees and grab them. And now, make sure that you're kind of marching and making sure all of your foot is on the ice. Because if we try to kind of walk, this movement is not natural for the blade and the whole skate so it's not going to help you at all now we're going to try to combine everything kind of marching and doing that bow change in order to dominate the movement but i know that this doesn't give you enough confidence the first times so we're going to try this exercise first we're going to do kind of a sit up with our feet open and trying to bend our knees in a 90 degree angle without hunching too much. You need to get your knees to really bend. That is really, really important while skating. So try to do this with your back not hunching and your knees really bent. If you need to separate your feet a little bit, that's okay. Now we're going to do the basic stop. This is a snowplow stop with one foot. I know you cannot see my blade, but um, you can see how my foot is kind of in front of the other on the side. And I'm pushing the ice with my front feet. If you can notice, I am not doing a full stop very quickly. This is because you need to stop 
like gradually because if not you might fall if you're not that secure on the ice you might fall next we're going to combine everything we're going to move then we're going to do a sit up and finally we're going to stop as gradually as possible uh, do this exercise as many times as you feel like you need depending on the amount of confidence you have on the ice this is really going to help you feel your torso a lot more free and also it's going to give you the confidence that you can stop at any given time and all of this combined is going to help you a lot and hope these tips were really helpful to you and well my friends this has been pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video that it helps you move across the ice with freedom and carelessness i hope this this video helps you have more confidence when you are skating and also makes you enjoy a lot more this uh, winter season where we're going to have rinks pretty much everywhere so that you can enjoy this experience with your friends and family and uh, if you practice them enough you're going to get to a point where you will have a lot of confidence on the ice and you're not going to be worried about falling all the time if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and leave me your thumbs up so i can know that you like this video and you found it useful and maybe i can create a lot more content in english i'm not mm, I'm really thinking about it, but I'm not sure because there are so many figure skating channels um, out there in English with people who know a lot more than me. But this is a really simple video that I haven't seen that much along YouTube, so I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please subscribe, like and comment this video. What else would you like to learn to do on the ice? What else? do you struggle with? Remember that these videos are not going to be very advanced, but I am going to do my best to make them very helpful. Uh, I hope you liked it and of course, as always, I wish you very happy glides. See you on the next one. Bye!